today's event really illustrates how important mobile brand is, brand building is to marketers and how you can better with mobile build a relationship with consumers wherever they happen to be. Um, even though Randy said, I just called to say I love you, which I think is a much better theme, uh, we also sort of semi-themed it, uh, making sense of the new first screen. Uh, because from the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, mobile is right there in the palm of our hands, and so should the marketing message be. Each and every one of the sessions you'll see here today will focus on how brands integrate engaging and immersive mobile advertising into the fabric of digital advertising. So not just about mobile, about the cross-screen uh, component of this. From real-world case studies to how big brands connect with fans at live concerts, to a fireside chat with FCC Commissioner Robert McDowell, and we've also created a lot of opportunities because, as Randy said, we want this to be an interactive and very engaging event. So we've created a lot of breakout sessions to encourage discussion and debate around hot topics like local and managing revenue goals in a multi-screen world. But you'll see more on that later on today. So Randy talked about the ABI study. And to set the stage, I just want to share a few findings from it with you. And again, you can find it on our website. And I think we have some copies of it outside as well. If you're interested, there's lots of information in it. It's very rich. So please check it out. But just to set the stage again, I want to share a few findings from it with you right now. We interviewed 550 smartphone users and 560 tablet users in the US, so actually a larger tablet sam sample, talking to them about how they use mobile data and what they use their devices for. And uh, the key findings all serve to reinforce a notion and a theme that we have here in the, at the IB and that we firmly believe in, and that is that the mobile users are not monolithic. Their mobile behavior and, and media consumption changes throughout the day based on time, location, and the device they're using. Sometimes it's standalones and sometimes in tandem with other media. If you're a marketer, you really need to, to think carefully about this if you want to build a successful overall mobile and marketing strategy. So that's kind of what we want this for. So I often hear the question, right, like Randy does, uh, what is a tablet? How do you define it? Is it a mobile device? And this is by no way an answer, but I think it's an interesting finding that we have here, which sort of states that it's not really about whether it's mobile or not. It's about the role the device plays in your lives. So the smartphone plays more a role of a hub uh, in someone's life. It's, it's the device you never leave home without. Uh, it's the device you reach for when you wake up in the morning, where tablets, in contrast, play the role of an entertainment hub. 68% of tablet owners identify that role for that device. And again, it was a fairly large sample, so it's, it's probably that's the way it is. Um, one thing that is for certain, though, is whether you're a tablet or a smartphone owner, uh, those devices are starting to heavily impact your media consumption behavior. Most notably, almost half of tablet owners say that this has changed the way they use print media, and one in four say that they actually watch less TV because of their tablets, which I think is pretty powerful.